The following is a presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are the Lions. In the OHSAA Division IV semis on Thursday, Eastern Senior Center Katie Keller scored six points and pulled down a game-high 12 rebounds as the top-ranked Eagles knocked off defending state champ Fort Laramie to reach the school's first championship game. Meanwhile, the Rosecrans Bishops used an 11-point, six-assist effort from senior guard Alexis Kirkbride to dispatch Holgate 55-40 and get back to the title game for the first time since 1996. It's Eastern and Rosecrans in the Division IV State Final, and it's next on Sports Time Ohio. Welcome back inside Value City Arena here in Columbus, Ohio. Championship Saturday continues. And up next, the Division IV state championship between Reedsville Eastern and Bishop Rosencrantz. Hi again, everybody. David Wilson and Lindsey Rowley. Welcome back to Value City Arena. This great day of high school basketball continues. The Division IV matchup coming up. And Lindsey Rowley, the Division IV teams in the state of Ohio, the small school division, but they get to perform on the big stage today. They do small schools, but a lot of energy. Both these teams are very excited to be playing here today on this big stage. Well, let's take a look first at the road to the final for the Eastern Eagles, the top-ranked team in Division Four, you see a pretty easy road through the district in the regionals. They knocked off one of their arch rivals in Newark Catholic by 10, and then knocked off the Division Four defending state champion Fort Laramie team 68 to 59 on Thursday afternoon. And Lindsay, when you talk about a star to watch for Eastern, Jenna Burdett, the senior, she put together a performance that they'll be talking about for years. She did. She actually tied the record for most points in a Division IV state semifinal game on Thursday with 38. She's a great leader, a phenomenal point guard. She does a great job taking care of the ball. She'll continue her career at the University of Dayton, but first, she's got to get through today. Well, for the Rosecrans Bishops, one of the all-time successful programs in girls' high school basketball in the state of Ohio. This is what they have done so far, a win over Berlin Highland, another highly accomplished team in their district final over Western Reserve and Cuyahoga Heights in a defensive game in the regional final. And then they knocked off Holgate 55 to 40 on Thursday to reach this championship game. And Chloe Johnson for Rosecrans, Lindsay, she can flat out shoot the three. She can. She led her team in scoring in the state semifinal game with 19. She actually went four for eight from behind the arc. She's that player that can make such a difference, and she's so dangerous if she gets on a roll. Well, the third member of our broadcast team is Andre Nutt. He'll be patrolling the sidelines. What do you have, Andre? Well, David, I got to tell you, this is a rematch from earlier in the season. And in talking to the Bishop side, talking to Coach Kirk Pride, he talked about the game. It was a 17-point loss. It was three days after Christmas, and he said his team really had an awakening then. They were undefeated, and they were ran off the floor by the other team. And he said, for that team, they had a couple girls that had missed shoot around. They didn't start in the game. He said they took the series, the season serious once they had that loss, and he hopes that they can finish off what happened that night today in this Division IV state championship game, Dave. Andre, thank you very much. Since that loss to Eastern, Rosecrans has ran off 20 consecutive wins. The state title in Division IV coming up next. This OHSAA state championship game is brought to you by Tom Raper RVs in Columbus and Cincinnati and online at TomRaper.com. By Cleveland Cavaliers basketball, all for one, one for all. And by Time Warner Cable, enjoy the most sports on the most devices, no matter where you are, only with Time Warner Cable. Welcome back to Value City Arena at the beautiful Schottenstein Center. Here on the campus of Ohio State University in Columbus, the girls' high school basketball championship games continue. So now we have the Division IV matchup between Eastern and Rosecrans. Welcome back. Here is the starting lineup 
4 Eastern. Our starting lineups are presented by Tom Raper RVs in Columbus and Cincinnati and online at TomRaper.com. Jordan Parker, Jenna Burdett, Patty Rigsby, Aaron Swatzel, and in the middle, Katie Keller. And now for Rosecrans. They will send out this starting five. Jess Smith, Alexis Kirkbride in the backcourt. Chloe Johnson, Maddie Chandler, Molly Nash. We'll take a look at the coaches in this Division IV final. Here you see John Burdett, the father of their star, Jenna Burdett. John has done a tremendous job at Eastern in his sixth season. You see his career record there. And on the other sideline, guiding the Rosecrans Bishops, Gail Kirkbride, his daughter also a prominent figure on his team in his fifth season with 95 wins. We are underway. Quick shot by Kirkbride, rims out. And Rosecrans wastes no time putting up the first shot of the game. No, they're definitely not going to be trigger shy at all this game. They're going to want to get on the board as quickly as possible, especially with such a fast pace moving offense that Rootsville has. The opening tip was brought to you by our friends at Time Warner Cable. Enjoy sports better. This will go the way of Rosecrans. Rosecrans 27 and 1, their only loss to Eastern back in December. Eastern, meanwhile, 26 and 1. They have not lost to an Ohio team. Their only loss came against St. Joseph Central Catholic of Huntington, West Virginia. Eagles will keep it. And I would not be surprised if they're drawing up a play right now that we're trying to get Chloe Johnson. We talked about her in the opening, how deadly her shot is. You better believe they're going to be trying to get her the ball as much as possible early. Nate Chandler loses it on a drive to the basket. See if the Eagles can answer after the turnover. Great crowd on hand for the D4 title game here at Value City Arena. Great to have you with us for our coverage here on Sports Time Ohio. Chandler clears after the miss. And here come the Lady Bishops. Bob gets to the mark. The shot does not go down. Rebound cleared by Katie Keller. She had 12 rebounds in the semifinal. Burnett the step back. Up this time. Jess Smith, the 5'4 senior, very scrappy player. Johnson at the other end. They'll have a chance for the three-point play. Chloe Johnson, we talked about how accurate her shot is, but on top of that, she's very good at being physical. You take another look here. Stays aggressive, goes up strong, fights through the foul, and is able to potentially have the three-point play. It'll stay 2-0. Alexis Kirkbride with the great basketball play, always looking up court. She was able to find Johnson for that layup. So two zip. Screens with the first bucket of the ball game, and now Eastern will try and answer. They average 76 points per game. This is Burdett with the basketball right now. Tie up will keep the ball in the hands of Eastern. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, Lindsay. They're brought to you by Cleveland Cavaliers basketball, all for one and one for all. Well, for Rosecrans, number one, they're going to have to move the ball. Speaking with Coach Kirk right after the semifinal game, he explained to me he felt they could have done a little bit of a better job moving it. And also, number two, the past is the past. And as we mentioned before, these two did face off earlier this year, and Rosecrans losing that game, it's going to be very important on the mental side of this game to stay tough. And for Reedsville, rebounding and staying out of foul trouble. Dave, during the semifinal game, we saw them foul out some key players. It's going to be very important for them to keep those big players in the game. Well, they used only seven players in the semifinal, so he does not go very deep on his bench. Driving layup does not touch iron, and a jump ball, second of the quarter. They were already seeing a very physical game. Both of these teams really staying aggressive, both on offense and on defense for both sides. And we're only in the first quarter, so it's only going to get more physical throughout this game. Chandler underneath. A pretty bad angle to try and force that one up. Burdett grabs the loose ball. Three off the mark, and Maddie Chandler with the rebound for Rosecrans. Again, looking up court, 
but they cannot finish. That one rims out. Molly Nash could not get that one to go down. 2-2 two -two ball game. Nice move inside on the feed. Katie Keller picks up her first two. She averages eight a game for Eastern, and they lead it 4-2. Well, the two daughters of the head coaches, Lindsay, in this game, Jenna Burdett for Eastern, Alexis Kirkbride for Rosecrans, as we see a foul. Not only are they good scores, but it's exactly what you would expect from a coach's daughter, very fundamentally sound players. We have a break in the action. Timeout on the court. First quarter, D4 championship. More to come after this. Four to two, Eastern leading in as we get back to action here in the Division Four State Championship game. A lot has been made of that earlier meeting this year between Eastern and Rosecrans. It was back on 12-28. The only loss of the season for Rosecrans, a 70 to 53 final, Lindsay. But as uh, Gail Kirkbride told you, the past is the past. They are not focusing on what happened that night, but. He did admit he was kind of hoping for a second chance at the Eagles. He was. He, that's exactly what he said to me. This is the matchup that he wanted in the state final, and he knew that before he knew the outcome of that other semifinal game. So he got his matchup here today. Molly Nash at the foul line. Nash, the senior, second team All-State performer. And she makes good on one out of two, and it's 4-3 Eastern by one. Burdett, top of the key for Eastern. Rosecrans starting out on that man to man, and you have a Kirkbride Burdett matchup right now in the early going. Just about halfway through quarter number one. That one up and in by Burdett, and she is lightning quick off the dribble. She is, and she found herself surrounded by three Rosecrans players, but it didn't matter. She was able to find the basket anyway. So a 6-3 Eastern lead. Burdett with 38 in the semifinal. And that was impressive enough, Lindsay, but you go back to their regional final against Newark Catholic. She poured in 37. And she has come up big in big games during this tournament run. There's Keller. Nice use of the glass. It's a great move by Nash, and she's going to have to continue to stay aggressive in this game and fight inside the paint. So 6-5, and a pass out of bounds on the jump pass, and Rosecrans will take over. Now, you will hear a lot of the name Nash for Rosecrans. Their former coach, the great Dr. Larry Nash, who led them to 10 Final Fours during his tenure as coach, and the Nashes on this team are grand nieces of Dr. Nash. Must be something in that name with basketball. <laughs> A legendary, iconic name in Zanesville. Also his granddaughter, Riley Hagee, is a member of the Bishops as well. Here come the Eagles now with a one-point lead. One three from the corner, and Chandler grabs it. Maddie Chandler, interesting athlete for Rosecrans. Not only an accomplished basketball player, but a member of the Rosecrans varsity football team. She hits a two there, foot on the line. Safety and linebacker, Maddie Chandler. She is so athletic. You saw that on that last play. Her athleticism at its best. Rosecrans takes the lead, their first, seven to six. The four championship game, the second four championship games coming your way today on Sports Time Ohio. Katie Keller inside. Keller with four. Chandler with the ball. Eastern matching up in the man-to-man. -man. This is Kirkbride with it. Picked up there by Jordan Parker. To Nash again, she absorbs the foul. Two shots coming up for Molly Nash, the 5'10 senior. 
not only a second team All-State player, but the East Central Ohio League player, their conference player of the year and District 12 player of the year as well. And as you just saw, that's a great move by Nash, but the, the pass from Kirkbride was great. Really led her into the basket, and that's what makes Kirkbride so good and such a great leader on this team is she makes great passing decisions and is very smart. good on one out of two and ties the game. And way downtown. It's up for grabs. Eastern comes up with it. Laura Pullins secured the offensive rebound. Parker a little bit short. Another effort for Eastern. You'll get the jump ball as Chloe Johnson goes to the deck, locks up with Maddie Rigsby of Eastern. Eastern did a great job there, keeping that offensive possession alive through rebounding, and that was something that was one of their big concerns for today was they wanted to crash the boards, really be on top of that stat. And they're doing a great job so far. Katie Keller is on the Eastern bench now. She absorbed that last foul in her second. Nash with the rebound. Here come the Rosecrans Bishops. The officials in this game, Robert Todor, Nick DeCesar, Larry Reardon, making the impartial calls in this Division IV state championship game. Chloe Johnson partially blocked by Burdett. And that should stay Rosecrans ball. They might talk things over here. An initial call was Eastern ball, but I believe, Lindsay, that Burdett blocked that shot. No. Let's take a look at it one more time. It did seem that that ball got kicked, but the ball went the other way. So here come the Eagles in a tie ball game, less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. Burdett right now being picked up by Samantha Swackhammer. Perfect from behind the arc. Laura Pullins averaging almost nine a game during the season. And it's 11-8 Eastern. Kirkbride. Dangerous cross-court pass. Chandler missed everything. There's Nash, though. She's been all over the court so far for Rosecrans. Both of these teams shooting a lot, especially from outside of the arc, really trying to get them into some form of a groove, it looks like, from the three-point line. Burdett at the buzzer. Will not go. And we've played eight here in the Division IV State Championship. Eastern leading it 11-8. Second quarter action coming up next on Championship Saturday on Sports Time Ohio. Rosecrans fans are excited as we go to the second quarter. Eastern leading the Bishops 11-8. The third member of our broadcast team, Andre Knott, is on the sidelines today. He has a special guest. Yes, I'm with Tom, Tim Stride. He's the director of information for the OHSAA. And with our times changing, obviously everyone wants to keep up with what else going on here and going on around the rest of the state. Tim, what are some of the ways that they can keep up? Sure, well, uh, obviously watching your telecast is a great way to find out all what's going on with the state tournament. But our website is OHSA.org, and our Twitter account is at OHSA Sports. So we got a lot of tweets going on this weekend. Hopefully folks can stay up to date that way. Do you do all the tweeting from that account? Either myself or my staff, but really our goal is just to be as good as Andre Knott's uh, Twitter account. I'm keeping up with you guys. Tim, you guys do a wonderful job with it. It really helps us throughout the, the state to keep up with what's going on. Thank you very much. No problem. Back to you, Dave. Andre, thank you very much, and uh, I'll add that Tim Street is one of the best, and boy, here at the championship tournaments, he is pulled in 20 different directions, he but is. handles every request very professionally and smoothly. Just a, a great job by Tim Street and all of the OHSAA staff. Nash draws the foul, and she will go back to the line, and she really is forcing the action for Rosecrans, Lindsay. She is. I love how aggressive she's staying, and from the first moment we've tipped off it's been like that like you said and I love how she's continually pushing she's penetrating she's doing a great job 
And she knocks down the first. That is up and good. So she has six, and it's a one-point game. Jennifer Burdett, one for five from the floor in the first quarter, Lindsay. And in fact, both teams, a cold shooting start to this title game. They are. Both these teams are having some trouble getting shots to fall. But speaking specifically to Jennifer Burdett, that, that just speaks to Rose Chris's defense right now. They are really holding her to a, her minimum right now. Here is Kirkbride. Now Chandler for Rosecrans. They are in the white uniforms. They are the home team in this game. Nice block from behind and another block shot. Chloe Johnson cannot get it to go from short range. Nash hit the bottom of the backboard. Well, Rosecrans has to wonder how they came out of that possession without a basket. Maybe they'll get Nash on a foul here. To rip the ball out of the hands of Aaron Swatzel. Her first, team first. Her first, and that's the first foul against Rosecrans. Jordan Parker, a 49% three point shooter on the season for Eastern. IRB three by Rigsby, controlled by Rosecrans. Has missed their last seven shots, Lindsay, and some of those have been right underneath. They have, and everything for both these teams, it seems just barely missing. And I think once either of these teams maybe make a couple, they're going to get that confidence, and someone may start to run away with this game. Right now, a one point game, as you see Gail Kirkbride there, 95 and 26 in his fifth season, graduate of Ohio University. Watson will dump it down low for Parker, but she lost it. Well, a nice thought on the back cut. It was, and Eastern seems to be a little bit out of sync right now, which is something that we don't necessarily see out of them a lot. Here you see a replay. No real reason or rhyme to it, but it just doesn't seem that they're into a groove right now. Chandler in the corner. They're in the second quarter of the D4 championship. Now a takeaway for Eastern's Jordan Parker, and they get it into the hands of Burdett. Burdett headed to Dayton next season. Run a little bit short. Molly Nash brings it down. This pass ahead. And turns into a bucket for Samantha Swackhammer. Give Kirk Bride the assist. She jungled it just for a moment, but gathered herself and knocked down the shot. There's your answer from Pullins. Like I said, both of these teams not having great shooting starts, but very close. Every shot is, and so now it seems that if one of them can get that confidence, things might really start to take a turn in this game. Well, Pullins with a pair of three-pointers so far in the first half. And Chandler. Go to Nash now, playing on the arc. Nice look down low, but what a rejection by Burdett. Parker on the run out, and she knocks it in off the glass. That's her first two. Eastern on a little bit of a run here, now leading it 16 to 12. That last block by Jenna Burdett, somewhat volleyball-esque, Lindsay. <laughs> it was, and it really erupted this arena and was able to convert on the offensive end. Chandler prevented an easy breakaway layup. Chloe Johnson, a bit of a pump fake, could not shake Rigsby. Eastern right now hanging in the man-to-man. -man. Halfway through the second quarter. Eastern with the lead. Some bodies hit the floor, no call on the contact. Smack camera misfires, but there's the offensive rebound. That's a great follow by Swackhammer. She missed the first shot, but stayed with it, went and got her own rebound and was able to score. Coaches will always preach, Lindsay, there's a lot of points to be had on the offensive glass. 
Crosby draws the foul. And they're going to hang the foul on Maddie Chandler. That will be her first. And for Rosecrans, team foul number two. We have a break in the action here in Columbus, midway through the second quarter, 16-14 Eastern. Close game so far here at Value City Arena. There you see the great crowd on hand supporting these two teams in the Division IV matchup. Take a look at Reedsville Eastern, and where they are located, far southern edge of the Buckeye State. Looking for their first state title. They were here a year ago and fell in the semifinals to Berlin Highland 54-51. They are currently the top-ranked team in Division IV under that man, John Burdett. At the line for Eastern on the restart, Matty Rigsby. One more to come. Eastern leading it by two. Lindsay, I know you're looking for Eastern to perhaps try and exploit their size advantage. I am. I'm a little surprised that they haven't been using it as much in this first half as, as I would have expected. But um, I think that we're going to start seeing Kitty Keller get even more involved, especially on the offensive side, but on the defensive side as well. She's got to be careful. She's got two fouls. they got to keep her in the game. Schmackhammer has provided some nice minutes off the bench for Rosecrans. It's trapped underneath. Let's see how she handles it. And a double dribble is called. And so the turnover gives it back to Eastern. Just a little over three minutes to go. Here in the first half of play. First state final of the day went to West Holmes. As they knocked off Archbishop Alter out of Kettering. For the state championship for West Holmes. Nice feed inside, Lindsay. You were just talking about it, and Rigsby will earn another trip to the foul line. And I'm happy to see them using that, especially when maybe Jenna Burdett is having some trouble putting the ball away. But here it's a great move. Stays aggressive, able to get the, the foul, and now finds herself at the free throw line. And free throws are going to be so important through this game as she misses the first one. Well, Maddie Chandler is her second foul. So she will leave. Chloe Johnson had. Got the breather, and she's back in now. Andy Rigsby, another shot on the way. She nails that one. It's her first point of this afternoon's game. So 17-14 Eastern by three. This is Kirk Bright up top. And now guarded by Laura Pullins. Nash tries to split the defense. And Burdett grabs onto the basketball. That ball will give it back to Eastern on the alternating possession. Here's Nash penetrating. It's paid off for her in the past, just not this time. Burdett was there. John Burdett gets the ball down low. It's a little too high, and she tried to grab it off the fingertips, but. Grabbed by Molly Nash on the turnover. Rosecrans takes over. They're down by three at this juncture. There's Jess Smith. And now Swackhammer down low. You know, Eastern wants to run this really fast offense, but I like Rosecrans here. They're slowing it down. They're taking the time. They're looking for the best shot they can get. They don't want to settle for an okay shot, but maybe they can get a great shot. Nice feed from Smith. This firing, Swackhammer there on the offensive rebound. Molly Nash, she absorbs the foul. Jordan Parker guilty of the foul. Now keep in mind, Rosecrans comfortable in a lower scoring game. They won their regional final over Cuyahoga Heights 22 to 21. 